guys welcome back to my channel i am here i've got my phone i've got my coffee because today we're doing one of my most requested videos which is a breast augmentation q a i'm hoping that i can answer any of you guys questions um because still to this day like i've had my boobs done for years now but i still get messages from girls asking where i went who did them what size all that kind of stuff so let's just jump into the questions my boobs are like fully settled fully dropped um let me see what year i actually got them done i'm really curious i knew i know it's july 25th i like remember that date because that's the day that i finally got my boobs and it was like one of the best days ever so anyways <laughs> i'm gonna insert photos from this whole process like they're really embarrassing but whatever i'm just gonna show you guys anyways um so this photo is me right before i went into surgery i'll just insert it on the screen so you guys can see the date is july 25th 2018 and it's now um february 23rd 2022 so it's been almost four years that I've had my boobs done. They're, like I said, they're completely settled. The number one question that I got from you guys was, where did I go? What surgeon? What uh, plastic surgery clinic did I go to? So I went to uh, Dr. Whitten at McLeod Trail Plastic Surgery. It was in Calgary, Alberta. And then the other question that I got a lot was what size? I believe it's been four years now. I believe I got 415 cc's and so I went from, I'll show you guys some before photos and after photos as well from when I like just got them done. Um, before I went in, it's hard to know what size I actually was because I literally only wore double push-up bras. I would never just wear like a sports bra or like a regular non-padded bra. Like it always had to be padded with something I was super insecure about. I was probably like a 32, I would have said I was a 32B back then, but I think I was a 32A. I was super flat and now I am, I went and, and I got sized at Victoria's Secret and they said I was a 32 double D. That seems really big to me, a double D. Um, come here, come here then. Leave a visita. Anyways, I want to show you guys. This is my boobs from the side. This bra is also like really tiny and really tight, so it like really compresses my boobs. I'll show you guys other photos as well. But yeah, I got 415 cc's. Um, I'm definitely glad, happy with the size that I went. Um, if you've been to Dr. Widener, if you know anything about him, he's really big on like. Um, doing a size that's like very natural to your body, very proportionate. Um, he straight up told me in my consultation, like, if you want to get those like crazy, like he didn't say porn star boobs, but I call them porn star boobs, like really huge. He was like, I'll recommend you to a different surgeon. I don't do those. And I was like, that's fine. I don't want them to be like crazy big, even though I do love the look of big tits. So yeah, he took all of my measurements and everything and 415 was the larger size that he had recommended to me and of course I was like, I'm gonna go bigger because every girl that I talk to says, I wish I went bigger. If they offer you two sizes, go with the bigger one and I'm definitely happy that I went with the larger size. And mine are high profile, by the way. Okay, so now that we've got kind of like the basic questions down, I'll get into some of your other questions. Did you get the implants under or over the muscle? I got them under the muscle um, and it actually wasn't even like a choice that was up to me. I'm pretty sure the doctor wouldn't just does it under the muscle. And as far as the research that I did, everyone that I talked to was mostly saying like, get it under the muscle. Um, and a lot of girls that didn't go under the muscle that I talked to were like, definitely make sure you do it. And so yes, I did go under the muscle. I've also heard that the recovery is worse if you go under the, under the muscle, but that it's worth it. A lot of people were just saying like, who did you go to? They did an awesome job. Who's the doctor that did the amazing job? I recommend to everyone to go to Dr. Witten if you're in Calgary or like the Alberta area. Um, I know that a lot of girls will go get their um, breast augmentation done 
in different places and I actually thought about it because I know you can like save a little bit of money which is really nice and you get a vacation out of it my only fear was like if I was gonna have a complication and let's say like three weeks after my surgery I needed to get in with my surgeon to be seen I would have to then fly out again so that's why I decided to get it done in Calgary even though it is on the pricier side than if you're like going to the states or something like that um so yeah i wanted to stay local within my city so that i wouldn't have to travel to see my surgeon if i had to get back in with him um someone else said got mine done last year and it still feels weird sleeping on my side does it get better um i don't know if it gets better or if you just get used to it um i have no issue like i sleep on my face and it definitely like you feel that they're there and they're kind of in the way but like to me it's just the most comfortable to sleep on my face um so yeah it doesn't really bother me i never find it painful or anything um yeah i would say after a year if they it still feels weird i don't know if it's really gonna go away how much did it cost do you need to budget for maintenance or replacement um so at the time that i got them done 2018 um i paid all in like just shy of ten thousand dollars um and that's including like the implants the surgery your meds your surgical bra that you have to wear afterwards anesthesia all in it was like I want to say like 9800 something in some sense or whatever um, and they do give you options for um, financing it so you can kind of pay it like monthly like a phone bill um, but I think you have to pay like at least like five or six thousand dollars down and then the rest you can pay um, monthly um, from what I remember and I know I considered doing that because I really just like wanted them done so bad i was 21 when i got it done and at that point i was like oh my god i'm so sick of being so insecure and not being able to wear all the clothes that i want to wear because i feel too flat um so i just wanted to get them done but at the time i was able to save up the money because i was still living at home so i wasn't paying rent i wasn't paying um all these extra bills um so it was faster for me to save them save the money now mind you i was in university part-time so i was only working three days a week at the time um but because i didn't have all those bills i was able to literally just like put all the money that i made from every paycheck basically straight into my savings account to pay for my boobs and um because i was living with my mom at the time i needed her to take care of me after I got my boobs done and it, it actually worked out great that I was still work, uh, living at home at, home at the time because um, she was there and if I needed help getting up or, or whatever like she was there to help me but and now she she knew I wanted to get my boobs done she knew it was my choice and I was 100% gonna pay for it all with my own money um, but I had considered doing like the financing route and she told me she was like my parents have always been really good about raising me to like be very um, smart with my money save my money like um, don't spend money on things that you don't have the money for basically and she basically said you can get your boobs done but only once you have all the money saved up and i was like all right bet so then within a few months i saved all the rest of the money yeah decided to get my boobs done and honestly i'm so glad that she said that i'm so proud of myself for actually like saving up the money working really hard towards it and yeah she was shocked she thought it was gonna take a lot longer for me to save the money but i was like no i want this so bad so yeah i did it oh and then the other part of the question was like maintenance and replacement i feel like i've always heard people are like oh you have to get your boobs redone every 10 years and i think that's like super outdated like i think if you got your boobs done in like maybe like let's say 20 30 years ago yeah maybe back then you would have had to replace them every 10 years but um, my surgeon with the implants that we used, technology they have these days, he said they're good for 30 years. And I don't know, who knows, maybe after I have kids, if I do end up having kids, I will replace them or get them bigger or get them taken out. I don't know, but they are good for 30 years. Have you experienced breast implant illness or any of the symptoms of it? <sighs> breast implant illness is 
it's such a gray area because breast implant illness is not recognized in the medical community so it's not really something that you can get diagnosed for it's more i've watched a lot of youtube videos of girls who have had explant surgeries or breast implant illness i mean it's very obvious that usually that's the cause of a lot of symptoms that they're having because they will have all these symptoms starting kind of within the first couple of years of having their breast implants and then once they get them out all their symptoms just go away i actually started to think um over the past few months that i might have had it i still don't know for sure um i wish that i could go to a doctor and they could either diagnose me with it or say no you don't have it but unfortunately um, like I said, it's just not recognized in the medical community. It could be hormonally related. It could be, um, you know, all different types of things. Um, so yeah, I guess I just really wouldn't know unless I was to get my breast implants removed. Um, if my symptoms were to get worse or were to get more consistent, um, more severe, then um, that's definitely something that I would look into a little bit more but it's been very like inconsistent over the past um, few months so it's really hard to say um, and there's really no knowing if you're gonna get breast implant illness it's just kind of either it happens to you or it doesn't I've seen a lot of YouTube videos of girls who actually got ex explant surgeries and it's like as soon as they walk out of surgery their eyes like the white in their eyes is so bright and their eyes are so clear and all of a sudden they don't have these bags around their eyes and like they feel energetic and and yeah it's really crazy and and i definitely believe that it's a thing i just wish that it was um there was a little bit more research on it um so that girls could be diagnosed with it uh before slash after i will insert before and after photos and was there a particular reason or just because you a baddie Thank you. Um, yeah, no, I just always, I was insecure of my boobs, like literally as long as I can remember. I remember in like middle school, all the other girls' boobs were starting to come in and I was waiting for mine and I was like, maybe I'm a late bloomer. Maybe I need to just like gain weight. And if I gain weight, my boobs will like blow up. Um, so yeah, I, I waited, I waited, I waited. I'm like, my boobs are not coming in. My mom, like, she never had really big boobs um big boobs don't really run in my family so yeah i just kind of got to the point where i was like i'm sick and tired of being insecure about this there's something i can do about it i'm gonna get the surgery and yeah it was kind of like a gift to myself i was like i'm gonna do this because i want to and honestly like i always say it's some of the best money that i ever spent i'm so glad that i did it i'm so glad that i did it when i did it um a lot of people say wait until after you have kids and I totally understand why they say that but for me I was like well I want to enjoy it during the years before I have kids um, when I still am like going around wearing tops like this like these are the years that I really want to enjoy it and um, yeah I totally respect everyone's opinion um, of what they want to do for their body that was literally just what I wanted to do for myself how many cc's and do you wish you went any bigger or smaller um, like I said, 415 cc's, high profile. Um, I remember at the time researching about the different types of implants that you could get and there was like um, the textured ones, there was teardrop. I literally just got um, cohesive gel and they were just like the round ones. And I remember asking my surgeon about textured and teardrop shaped ones. And I'm gonna totally butcher it if I try to quote him right now because this was four years ago. But basically he said that the one that he ended up giving me was just the round with the cohesive gel um, would be the best, would be the safest, and that the textured ones can cause capsular contracture. So I was like, whatever you say, I trust you, you know what you're talking about. Um, do I wish I went smaller or bigger? Absolutely not smaller. I'm I'm so glad that I went with the larger ones. Um, I think had my mom not gone to the consultation with me, I would have been like, can we go even bigger? Like, I'm sure I could have asked him to go just a little bit bigger and like maybe he would have let me. But I remember my mom was sitting right there when I was at my consultation and so he was like, well, yeah, like, what is your goal? Like, what do you want them to look like? And I said, I just wanted them to be like, I remember I said a full C or like a small D 
although I wanted like a full D for sure, but I kind of was more modest about what I was asking for because my mom was right there and I was like, well, I don't want her to think that my boobs are gonna be too big. And then she's like, okay, you're not getting your boobs done. I was like, I'll take what I can get. And yeah, like I'm so happy with my boobs. I love them so much. Cost recovery time. Um, okay, so we already talked about cost recovery time. This is a really good one too. So when I asked other girls and also my surgeon about taking time off work, my surgeon recommended two weeks. And a lot of girls that I talked to, they're like, you could probably be fine with 10 days, but I ended up taking two weeks off um, just to be safe. And I'm definitely like glad I did because by the time that I did go back to work, I was like totally ready. And you know, everyone, everyone's recovery is different. Everyone's body heals differently. Um, I think I recovered pretty quickly. But yeah, let's talk a little bit about the timeline of after you're recovering. So I was given, I believe, antibiotics and some kind of painkiller um, after my surgery. I don't remember what it was. But um, those I definitely stayed on top of. I had my mom helping me at the time. She would set an alarm for every like four, six, eight, however many hours I was supposed to take another pill or take another painkiller. So we stayed completely on top of those because um, everyone that I talked to was like, just stay on top of them because otherwise it's really hard. If the pain gets ahead of you, sometimes it's just really hard to get back on top of it. Um, so yeah, my mom was really good about making sure that I was taking my painkillers. Um, and I took them for three days and by the third day, that was the last day that I took my painkillers because I wanted to start driving, I wanted to get out of the house, I wanted to go shopping for bras and bikinis. And I know everyone says like, don't go bra shopping right away because they're still very high, they're not settled. And it's so true, I'll show you guys the photos um, from like right after I got them done. They are hard, they are rocks, they are square. They're this high on my chest. And there's like, I was so swollen between my boobs. My boobs were like out here. And I was so swollen in between. And so it just looked like I had one big mono boob. It was not cute, but I was still obsessed with them. And of course I had to go bra shopping because I just couldn't help myself. So by the third or fourth day, I think it was, I was off my pain meds and I started driving. And um, the only thing that I really noticed is I was still like very low energy because I went to the mall. I was walking around and I just remember being like really out of breath and really like, okay, yeah, I need to sit down. Like that's enough for the day was just walking around the mall a little bit. I was exhausted. After that, like I couldn't go to the gym. Um, I don't even remember when I did end up going back to the gym. I feel like I started with like really light cardio, maybe like two weeks after and then doing some weights. Um, only lower body weights um i want to say at like four weeks and then six weeks i think he said i could be completely back to regular gym exercises and the only thing that i was really afraid of in the gym was anything to do with the chest i thought that my boobs were gonna separate and go into my armpits and yeah it just felt really weird and then another thing with recovery is i do recommend that you have someone with you for at least the first three days when it comes to cooking, um, either pre-cook yourself a bunch of meals so you can just pop it in the microwave, but if you've got a microwave up here, like see mine is up there, you might not be able to reach. So having someone around for those three days is really important. I wasn't sure if I would be able to like shower and bathe and go to the bathroom by myself. Luckily, I was okay. And then, yeah, showering and stuff. It actually wasn't too bad. I, I think I, it was more fear that was holding me back from lifting my arms up rather than just like I didn't have the mobility for it. I just remember my arms are kind of like this all the time, but I could do this and kind of bring my head down a little bit so I could shampoo my hair. Um, yeah, showering and everything just took a little bit longer, but I was able to do it by myself. Also, laying down and sitting up, you don't realize how much you actually use like your chest muscles for that kind of stuff. Um, so a lot of it, you have to use your core instead if you were able to. And luckily, because my mom was there, I could have her kind of grab my back and help me lay back or help me sit up. Yeah, that's definitely something I needed help with. And something else that you want to keep in mind is like putting clothes on after surgery. They do recommend that you have a front button or front zip hoodie, sweater, shirt for after surgery. So I went to Walmart and I bought a little front zip 
hoodie and that's what I put on after surgery. I can show you guys a picture of it. And then even for the first few days after your surgery, it's definitely easier to have something like that just to put on really easy so you don't have to like put it over your head and put your arms in it. Um, Cause yeah, the last thing you really wanna be doing is lifting your arms after your surgery. It's scary, promise. <laughs> also just, I don't know if I made that very clear. I had a really good recovery. Like, yeah, like I said, after three days, I was good. Um, that was my experience. Um, yeah, I remember I went to my post-op. I think it was the next day. Okay, a little bit of a brief intermission. My um, memory card was full and I was getting really hungry. So I cooked some ground turkey really quickly. It's disgusting and not very appetizing, but I'm eating it. And yeah, one of my other more requested videos is like what I eat in a day. So if you guys do want me to do that, leave this video a thumbs up and I will film that next. Anyways, I'm trying to figure out where we left off. I think I was talking about I went to my um, post-op appointment, which was the next day. And Dr. Whitten was like, wow, you're like really smiley today. Like you must be feeling pretty good. I'm like, I feel like tired and kind of poopy, but um, I was like, I have boobs now. So all my problems have disappeared. <laughs> How big, what kind of implants, um, like I said, it was the cohesive gel. My surgery is coming up and I'm so excited. How many days until you felt more normal? I'm so excited for you, girl. Ugh, it's like the funnest experience ever, like having your boobs for the first time. Yeah, like I said, I started to feel normal. Let's say like day five to seven is when I was back into like normal like doing things for myself um driving um yeah i think literally like a week later i went out with my boobs and i wanted to like show them off i went to the pool with my girlfriend and like so embarrassing that i was like a week out of surgery and i had these like boulders on my chest but i was just so excited to show them off and see how i fit into like all my bathing suits do they feel different than regular boobs Yes, absolutely. Regular boobs are like way squishier and mine are squishy. I mean, they don't look really squishy right now because like I said, this top is really tight. Um, but yeah, they're definitely more firm. Something I love about them is, I mean, girls with real boobs all the time are like, yeah, I have big boobs, but like they don't sit up on their own. And I'm like, well, I paid a lot of money. So mine do sit up on their own. So I literally, I don't wear bras. I think I own only the one bra that I bought like a few days out of surgery and I've never worn it. I'm very like free the nipple and um, yeah, I wanted these boobs so bad and I saved my money for them. So I'm just gonna let them be and sometimes most of the time my nipples are popping out but I just let it be. My appointment is May 3rd and I'm scared. Does it hurt real bad? I'm so excited for you. Oh my God. Um, No, it doesn't. Just stay on top of your meds. Literally, that's all you have to do. Stay really hydrated, sleep a lot. Three days, you'll be feeling back to normal. How often do you have to replace these? Is it still 10 years? Would you replace or explant? No, my, like I said, mine are 30 uh, years. I don't know what my plan will be as of right now. I'm like, replace, but um, I don't know. It depends how my life goes, how I feel 30 years from now, 20 years from now, 10 years from now, if I have kids, if I don't have kids. Um, yeah, so I really, I have no idea. I'm open to either, but I love having my boobs. I would really prefer not to have no implants. I really like having them. Top five recovery tips. I'm gonna insert a photo of something that I did after surgery because I was like so swollen in between my boobs and actually I'll insert a few photos I was also really swollen on the sides like my whole rib cage was like bulging out it was just very full of fluid and I could like touch the skin that was raised between my boobs like this and you could hear the bubbles popping under the skin from all the fluid it's so nasty but um, I used freezer packs that you put in like a lunch box and I would put, wrap it in paper towel and then put it in between my surgical bra just like this and th to help get the swelling to go down. So that's one of my hacks. Next one is having someone there to take care of you for a minimum three days. Um, have all your groceries done, anything that you need cooked, um, anything that you use often, make sure that um, it's at like a 
reasonable height um, because you obviously don't want to be putting your arms up. I went out and I bought this stupid pillow. It's like, I think, it's like those ones that you can get at Home Outfitters. Sorry if you can hear the traffic. Um, it's one of those pillows that's like fuzzy and it like is kind of like a, like a, looks like the top of an armchair. And I bought one of those because I thought it'd be comfortable to help keep, you, keep me sitting up. But it was not, I didn't use it once. So don't waste your money on something like that. Wear your surgical bra, do everything that your doctor says for your recovery. Don't push yourself and like go back to the gym and start lifting weights. Yeah, just follow everything that your doctor recommends for you. Wear your surgical bra as much as they say to wear it. Oh, this is another good one too. Um, so something no one told me about for after you get your boobs done is everything's stretched. So your nipples are stretched and they look really ugly at first and then they go back to normal. Um, but yeah, at first they're like, yuck, not cute. They're really dry and like, wearing shirts and like changing and stuff like it's just so rough on them and they start to get like raw and it's painful um so what i ended up doing because um like having shirts or having my surgical bra rub on it was like so painful so i went out and bought like little pasties and i would just stick them on my nipples and then put like my bra on top or put my shirt on top and then it would stop um that rubbing from happening and i would say it was so I was fine from that at least after like a week um, so yeah maybe go buy some of those before your surgery or you can just it's an excuse to get out of the house like when you're in recovery you really don't need two full weeks I mean it's different for everyone but it's something exciting I loved going and buying things for my new boobs like after my surgery so yes that's a good one is there any regrets you have about the surgery um no no everything went really well i really thought about it for a lot of years before i ended up like making up my mind and finally doing it saving up the money um yeah no regrets about that i'm super happy with my decision also i don't want anyone to think that this i'm like trying to convince you to go get your boobs done i think if the decision is completely up to everyone just do your own research for yourself and do what feels best for you and do it for yourself and not for anyone else have you noticed any discomfort during your workout since augmentation um like i said the only thing that i really notice is like if i do push-ups or if i do um anything where i'm using any chest muscle like you know that is it called the romans chair where you like it's like a ab workout you put your arms like this and then you like raise your legs up and down um when i do that i feel like my boobs separating and they actually do when you like oh you can kind of see <laughs> when you kind of like tense your chest muscles they separate a little bit but they always go back it just it feels weird still um it's never painful and if it ever is painful stop go to your doctor go to your surgeon and, like listen to your body I had a lot of girls messaging me saying that they're getting theirs done soon. It just makes me so excited. That was like, uh, it's a fun experience for sure. Just like for the first time, see what it's like to have boobs and like having something there. And like, I noticed that like you go to grab things and you're like, oh my God, there's a boob there. Like, it's very exciting. Even recently, one of my girlfriends, I do her lashes. And she was telling me, I never noticed this, um, but she's like, it's so nice when you're doing your lashes, I can feel your boobs on my head, it's just so nice and warm. <laughs> and um, yeah, I never really noticed that, but I guess like my boobs are kind of in the way, so they, they keep y'all's heads nice and, nice and cozy. How long did it take you to heal up? The whole healing process is like, there's a lot of different stages. So when you come out of surgery, uh, you have stitches, and then on top of those stitches, you have like um, medical tape. And then on top of that, I'm trying to remember if they had gauze taped on top of that. I'll have to look back at the photos. And then you have your surgical bra. The first thing that I healed from was I didn't have to take painkillers after three days. And then I'd say after two weeks, you go back to work and start some light 
cardio and then i'm trying to remember because they say don't take off your medical tape just let it come off on its own and so it kind of starts to like peel off a little bit and it kind of loosens up when you're in the shower but they just say like let it come off on its own oh god i want to say that was like a week or something and then honestly like by the time that your boobs are fully dropped i'd say a year and that's what my uh doctor had told me he's like don't start freaking out in six months if they're not exactly how you want them to look because they'll continue to change and they definitely do like give it a full year before you judge like the appearance of them i keep getting questions about how uh like painful the recovery is for me not bad at all i've talked to girls that had really bad recovery and just hated it yeah i think i probably had like like three days the first three days suck and it's not fun and then you're chilling like it's really not bad and you get boobs. You get boobs of the deal. It's worth it. The cost and if there's any coverage. For breast implants, there's no coverage. I know that some girls get coverage for like if they're getting a reduction um, because they get like back problems from their boobs being too big, that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, no coverage. This is strictly cosmetic. What made you decide, decide on the size you wanted to go for? It was recommended by my surgeon. And yeah, I just wanted... Big boobies. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, how painful was it? I would say there was two different levels of pain that I felt. When you go into surgery, they want you to go in on an empty stomach and then they do anesthesia, put you under, do your um, surgery, and then you come out of surgery and they don't give you any painkillers. You just wake up naturally on your own and you're not on any painkillers because they want to gauge like what kind of pain you're in, how you're doing. I remember waking up and I'm like in the post recovery room and I'm like, mm, something doesn't feel good. I open my eyes and I'm like, okay, it's done. My boobs are there. Um, and there's like a nurse walking around and I'm like kind of like wiggling around like, hello, do you see? I'm awake. Like, come help me because I could feel the cuts. That's everything that I could feel was like, I just felt a lot of tightness, pressure, and then the cuts were like really, really painful. And I was like twiddling my toes and I was like, oh, like this is really painful. And then finally she came over to me. She's like, how you doing? And I'm like, I'm dying. I need something. So she gave me the painkillers, but of course it was on an empty stomach. Within about like 20 minutes, I got super nauseous and I was like, I'm gonna throw up. My mom had come at that point, they had called her to um, come pick me up. This is probably like half an hour after I woke up uh, from my surgery. They got me up out of the bed, hoodie on, and I was sitting in a wheelchair. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna throw up. So they brought me a bucket and I threw up and I was like, I hope I didn't throw up all the painkillers. And they were like, yeah, this is normal because you just took these really hard core painkillers on an empty stomach so then they gave me like some ginger ale and, oh i think they gave me some anti-nausea something through an iv i don't know this is very blurry because i also was like kind of out of it when i came out of surgery i just felt really like drunk high whatever um but yeah so i did throw up after surgery and i remember being so afraid of throwing up like all the force like it was gonna feel like it's like ripping open it didn't it was fine it's not a big deal um yeah so if you do feel like you're gonna throw up, don't be afraid. It's not gonna hurt or anything. Does have you lost any sensitivity? Um, no, I don't think so. I do remember that like when I first got them done underneath my nipple, like right here, kind of the space between the scar, because I got them put uh, under the boob. That's where my scar is. Um, the space between that and my nipple was like super numb for a while, but the feelings come back and yeah, I don't find that I've lost any sensitivity. Would you have done it differently? Different materials, size, stage, time in life? Nope. Okay, you guys, that was all of the questions i can't believe we actually got got through all of them i feel like there we covered a lot there um but yeah if you guys have any other questions let me know you can comment them um or if you if there's enough questions i could always do like a part two as well um but yeah thanks so much for watching make sure to follow me on instagram and subscribe to my youtube channel like the video um leave any comments with any questions let me know if you want to see a what I eat in the day video, if anyone would care. Um, and yeah, I think that's all. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!